Nós estamos lutando uma luta diferente para proteger a Amazônia contra a exploração predatória que todos os dias bate na porta dos nossos territórios. Bom, nós temos hoje a, as, os marcos jurídicos né, legais, como são considerados, tanto a nível nacional quanto a nível internacional. E os grandes empreendimentos que, que são feitos dentro, é, principalmente dentro ou aos redor, aos redores dos territórios indígenas, aonde os governos não aplicam, por exemplo, a, o direito de consulta livre, prévio e informado aos povos indígenas antes de fazerem seus empreendimentos. É por isso que nós estamos sempre dizendo, tem que colocar os povos indígenas no centro das discussões, a sabedoria indígena no centro das discussões, porque a natureza ela não depende de nós para se, restru... se restituir. Nós dependemos dela, mas nós precisamos 100% respeitar a sabedoria da natureza. É que a luta não pode parar, tem que se ampliar cada vez mais. Nós temos que, que direcionar a nossa visão de luta. Nós vamos para a rua protestar, nós fazemos carta, fazemos denúncia, nós temos que ir para a luta, nós temos que ir para onde as, as barragens hidrelétricas estão ameaçando povos e os povos estão sendo ameaçados, casas queimadas, invadidas. Nós temos que ir para lá junto, temos que levar a mídia internacional, nós temos que levar os direitos humanos lá. Eight years old ako nung tinayo ang coal fired power plant dito sa aming bayan. Ito ay nung 2013. Dati, malaya ang kabataan kasi ang lugar ng coal fired power plant na pinagtayuan ay may ilog, mayroon din mga tanim at may mga prutas na pwedeng kainin ng mga bata. Dito po sa aming bayan na nakatayo yung isang malaking coal fired power plant, ang uh, kauna-unahan nagiging epekto po nito ay yung sa, sa mga bata at matatanda na may hina yung resistensya. Tumaas po yung bilang ng mga nagkaroon ng respiratory disease at skin disease dito sa aming komunidad. Ang coal fired power plant po kasi ay naniniwala po ako na lumalabag po sa aming karapatan kaya nagsasagawa po kami ng uh, paglalabas ng aming hinaing, ito nga po yung protesta bilang uh, ipakita po yung aming karapatan, ipaalam po namin sa kanila yung karapatan namin sa aming paninirahan. Ako po ay nangangarap ng isang komunidad na malinis. Yung meron po tayong enerhiya ngunit mula sa alternatibo. Uh, yung naka-phase out po yung coal fired power plant, yung uh, nakatayo po yung ating mga kabundukan at may tubig po ang ating mga ilog at malinis ang ating karagatan. In just uh, last month, in uh, October 2021, um, a few people suffered, uh, for a few people staff suffered arrests four times our field staff that's best in Hoima district, where Uganda's oil and gas resources are found, was arrested and detained. On um, October 7th, our staff in uh, Bulisa district, that's where um, Total's tilling uh, project, some of uh, their oil fields are found. He was arrested, briefly arrested and, and detained, and then he was let to go. Our other staff in Kampala, some of them were arrested and detained for a night. Then uh, on October 22nd, when they reported as part of their police bond requirements, so our CEO, Mr. Dickens Kamugisha, reported alongside them. They were all rearrested. There were six people. They were rearrested or arrested and they were detained for more than uh, 48 hours, which is against uh, the Ugandan laws. So we are doing quite a number of things that are in the protecting our environment and communities. And that because of uh, that, you know, on never giving up or fighting and, and, and being very vocal and demanding that we must pro protect communities, we must protect the environment. We've, uh, we are in the spotlight in a bad way to the Uganda uh, authorities. If we didn't have a network, a huge network that stood in solidarity with us and used various, various tactics, 
such as a campaigning on social media, engaging embassies in Uganda, engaging the Ugandan government, we wouldn't, you know, our staff wouldn't, we believe they wouldn't um, have been released. So certainly being in a, a national, regional, and global networks and having that solidarity, fighting for each other, defending each other is very, very important in ensuring that we have the uh, right to freedom of our expression and assembly are breached, that they are reinstated. So without freedom of expression, freedom of assembly, freedom of thought, the global and the national and the regional uh, climate change and environmental movements would be dead. Therefore, those freedoms ought to be protected and guarded jealously. Kung ako mismo mananawagan ng mustisya ang pangklima, hindi ako mapapakinggan. Pero kung marami tayong mananawagan ng mustisya ang pangklima, papakinggan tayo ng nasa gobyerno. Yung malinis na kapaligiran, yung malinis na hangin, ayun po yung aming karapatan na nais po namin ipaalam sa kanila. Uma das verdadeiras soluções para a crise climática é devolver os territórios sagrados do nosso povo. Demarcação já! Demarcação já! Demarcação já!